So I'm here at the Lover's Leap Trailhead in Custer State Park. Um, this is about a little over four mile loop. Um, it's about 33, I think, 33 degrees out today. It's a little bit chilly. The wind's a little bit breezy, but not too bad. Um, we're supposed to be getting some real cold temperatures here at the end of the week. So I thought I'd better get my hike in uh, while the weather's halfway decent. So um, you can see behind me here is um, Highway 16. And so there's a couple of buildings here, this kind of open building and that one. So when you pull off the road, you just kind of come behind this building is where the parking area is. And then you'll see this sign. a quarter of a mile in right now um, and this is where the fork in the trail comes in so you can either go right or left um, it was a pretty steady climb up to this point breathing a little heavy got the blood flowing uh, so I'm gonna go right um, to go counterclockwise on the loop so So um, Custer State Park in the wintertime is a great time to um, visit the park and a great time to see wildlife. Um, I saw the um, bighorn, bighorn sheep, a couple of different groups of them on the way in just right along the road this morning, which was neat. Um, and this trail, I've actually seen buffalo on it a few times doing this trail in the summer months. Um, they like to kind of hang out down by the water where it's shaded. Um, so I don't know if I'll see any today. I'm always a little nervous um, when I run across buffalo. this trail right now we're just following along the creek I think we're a little over a mile in um, it mostly ran parallel to highway 16 kind of behind a bunch of cabins up to this point um, first quarter mile was a little steep a bit of a climb but since then it's been pretty much flat a little bit rolling um, and like I said right now we're just walking along the creek but we'll we'll start climbing here soon so we can get a good view at the top about um, a little over two miles in and ended up having to take off my outer layer. It's getting a little warm. It's kind of down down in this canyon here, following alongside the creek. And it's just, oh, let's stop right with the sun in my eyes. It's just super calm and you can hear the water from the creek and it's just really beautiful right here. Um, we're still kind of following back and forth across the creek and the little, uh, bridges are marked so we just went went over number nine so i don't have to try and count so that's nice <laughs> um but we should start climbing here soon um and i may end up having to put my coat back on once we get out of this sheltered area 
if the wind is still blowing a little bit like it was, it might get chilly again, but right now it's just, I kind of just want to hang out down here for a little bit because it's so peaceful and just beautiful. Okay, made it to the top here on Lover's Leap. Um, I'm at about three miles or so, give or take. Um, coming, uh, let's see, counterclockwise. Um, so it's actually it's still pretty warm up here, even with the wind. Um, the sun's out, a lot of the snow up on top here, once we kind of got out of that canyon is melted. There's just a little bit of snow here and there, but not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab a drink and head back down should be I think about a mile a little over a mile to get back to the trailhead from here so um yeah the views are beautiful up here made it back to the parking area and uh, the total was right about uh, 4.3 miles uh, saw lots of deer today uh, which was great and, and they all ran off or just watched me. None of them stalked me, so that, <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, it was a great day. There was some uh, snow covering along the trail, light snow um, as it followed the creek, uh, and then it was pretty clear up towards the top. Uh, so really perfect, perfect day to go for a hike.